Hello everybody, this is Dr. Carmen Bryan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you to all the new subscribers that have joined us and um, have joined the tribe, have subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me, finding something valuable um, that I have to say that assist you in your transition either out of the relationship, gaining more knowledge, gaining strength, and um, learning about uh, narcissist abuse. And today I wanted to talk about, let's see, just give it a title, the pseudo this, this new pseudo relationship that the narcissist has created with their new source of supply. So uh, if you've been watching the videos and you go back to some of the videos where we're talking about, and a lot of you have sent me emails or have also commented on here is, is that the new, uh, the, the um, narcissist uh, left or discarded you or you discarded them and two, three months later, they're married to someone else. Well, first of all, we understand that it's a pseudo relationship. It's not a real relationship. And I did a video on that. Number two, uh, a lot of you are still following them on Facebook, looking at them, so your heart is broken because it appears as though they're happier with this new supply, you know. But if you think about it for just a minute, that's exactly how you were. Uh, and you have to think that, number one, some of you guys were the secondary source supply. And so the old supply was looking at you the same way, as if you were more happier or that the narcissist was happier with you. And you were so happy. You were so elated because you were being love bombed. And only to find out in the in the relationship, which did take long for some of the masks to fall off, that um, you were with a monster. You know, you were miserable and unhappy, but the per, the, the projection or the... You know the whatever was displayed to public you always made it seem like it was just so wonderful so beautiful and they worked very hard to make sure that they showed uh the the, the old source supply and some of you may not have realized that you do now the old source supply or people within public that knows them how happy they are regardless of how you felt on the inside because they had no concern about how you feel it's just how you make sure that it looks in public some of you may even heard them have, uh, you know, may have heard them say that, you know, whatever goes on in our house stays in our house. No one uh, is supposed to know what happens in our home. The children are told that what goes on in our house, you better not tell anybody and you better not, you know, so what, what do most people do? They present um, as this happy family, this happy couple. So these people are looking at you, envying how wonderful this relationship is. And most of you guys know that's not the case. And so if they've discarded you or you have discarded them and they've moved on, to a new source of supply and created a new family do know that the same what same thing that they were doing with you they're even worse going into this new relationship number two keep in mind um, remember we talked about where I talked about um, the fact that they thrive in chaos they thrive in chaos and confusion because that is the only way that they can uh, maintain their dominance and maintain control as long as you're confused they can manipulate they can you know, fast talk, whatever they have to do to get what they want. They don't have, they don't have the means of being able to negotiate and accept a no from a person. If you say no, they'll find another way to do it anyway. Uh, and so, uh, if you think about it for just a minute and most, you know, in not most, but in organized crime, whether it's gangs, mafia, whatever it is in organized crime, this organized crime is very systematic and very organized in creating chaos. They create chaos, they can uh, uh, in inflict fear, you know, uh, cause division, you know, they tear stuff up, but it's very organized in what they're doing. If you go within the organization, there's hierarchy, um, you know, there's a demand for respect and honor, you know, but they, it's organized. It's very, very organized in what they do is organized chaos. And so the same way with a narcissist, it's organized chaos. They're very systematic uh, at how they inflict chaos and how they do what they do in order to get what they want. You and I may be able to have a conversation and I may disagree agree or we may have to come to a compromise as to okay I understand your vision but this is not what I do uh, you know but I can do this and we can meet a, you know we can compromise and find someone else that may be able to do this well a narcissist is not that way when they want something they want something and they say something to you because they need you to agree with them to get or do or have or whatever it is that they want if you say no to them You've caused a nar narcissistic injury. So they'll find any way they possibly can to force your hand and to force your decision to get what it is that they want. Now, having said all that, remember, you may have, let's say, for example, you, you have children by this narcissist, male or female, and they move on to this new new supply with their family or their children. You know, So they get into, uh, into this relationship and immediately they have to... Um, 
create a, a because remember some of you were long-term relationships with these narcissists and so being long-term relationship you were the main source of supply you provided copious amounts of fuel meaning that you also provided a sense of stability home children you know this nor normalcy within the public eye knowing that it was chaos within the inside of the, the the home and so when they move on to a new source of supply remember they don't have longevity with this uh, new source of supply and some of you guys have been in these relationship for 15 20 30 40 50 60 years you know so they move on to this new source of supply they've already broken you in and either number one they've depleted you and you have nothing more to offer them and so they move on to another source of supply that's full of uh, fuel or number two you woke up and you put boundaries up and so they don't have the amount of control that they had over you at one point in time so they have to find someone else that's more naive that doesn't know anything about them that's more flexible and that's more gullible you know sad to say you know that's how we were you know the gullible they don't know anything about them so it's easy to mold them so now here they take your attributes let's say and i'm just gonna use this as examples let's say that you were a doctor a lawyer you know you were in a specific type of prof profession that had a specific type of language language, an educator, it doesn't matter or had a certain a language, they take upon your persona and they take upon your language, you know, and certain things that they liked that they dogged you out about, but they take your persona and implement it in this new relationship. They take upon your persona and implement it in the relationship. And then what they do is, is they take the new supply and try to mold and groom the new supply in the attributes that you have. And so the sad part about the whole situation is, is that the new source of supply is always a shadow walker. They're always walking in your shadow. And these new source of supply would do anything to appease the narcissist because they can feel that sense of disconnect between the two of them because you may have been the longer source of supply at one point in time and so they they may the narcissist may accidentally slip and call you call them by your name which happens quite often if you've been in a long-term relationship and it really bothers the new source of supply because in their mind the way that this narcissist presented themselves is that they were so in love and you're the one that i've always wanted that's why i'm leaving this long-term relationship and I'm being with you because you understand me and he or she didn't understand me so this new source supply head is just totally gassed up you know really believing what this narcissist is saying but on the inside and some of you felt the same way on the inside they're they're compete there the narcissist puts them in a position where they are always in a position of competition with you they want to triangulate between the three three of you you know you the new source supply and the narcissist and they want to see you two fight over this narcissist well for those of you that went no contact and you don't involve yourself in it the new source of supply is constantly at battle with an individual that they don't even know they they want to know what you sound like they want to know what you look like they they go and look at your facebook pages and your social media and look you up because they want to know what is it about you that caused them to love you and it wasn't love they were obsessed with the the attributes or something that you have they were fueled by you and they don't understand it in their mind the new source supply is is what is it about you that they love so much so that i can begin to conform in order to pull because they feel the disconnect connect they feel the disconnect they and they're constantly competing for the attention of this narcissist they're constantly competing for the the uh the affection the love uh in an assumption that this is what you were getting and so they'll do anything to conform to the demands of this narcissist to include um the narcissist um say your children have visitations back and forth the narcissist will torment and and torment your children and force them to call this new uh, 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 male or female mother or father and children know when they're uncomfortable with the situation you know if, if you know i believe that uh and this is my belief i believe that you know the title mom or dad or mother or father is an honorary title and you know and there are step families that 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 have good relationships the mother and father have good relationship the husbands and wives you know they have a good relationship and they co-parent together as two separate families yet two families together and they have a good relationship things just didn't work and then the children are growing up healthy because they can see these two families growing up and it is a matter of respect to have the title mother or father or mom or dad you know and so if the child adopts it and the mother or father is okay with that you know because they they understand their roles but when you have a narcissist that is trying to force a, a 
try to what's the word i'm looking for trying to create a a uh, their own environment to try to you know everything is fast 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 let's hurry up and buy a house let's hurry up and buy the car let's hurry up and do this and let's hurry up and do this and and this is my family now and we have to I have to hurry up and get everything back into its its reg regularity so that people see that we're a normal family and, and there's nothing normal about this new family and then the kids are coming in and they're forcing the kids you will call them mom you will call them dad you know this is your brother and this is your new sister you have these kids that are totally confused and upset and hurt and now they're afraid because now is their loyalty they don't you know they love both of their parents but they're confused so if you ask a child where do you want to go they're afraid to say anything because they're afraid that one or the other parent is going to be angry at the same time when they go into these new homes or visitations or whatever with these new sources of supply is pure hell for these kids because they're always under pressure they're afraid of, of losing the love you know they're afraid of, of making them angry because they probably have a rage issue and then you have this new source of supply constantly um, competing with an individual that they don't even know you know so they are your shadow walkers constantly trying to figure out who you are looking at your kids to try to figure out who you are what your personality is like some of them have never you know I think it's only appropriate that you know a uh, 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 a stepfather or a new father you know a stepfather or a, a stepmother you know at least connect with the old source of supply to get an understanding uh you know a, a respect a mutual respect for each other you know this is your new husband that's on you um, you know the the main concern is the child you know if there's something you need or you need to talk to me about we need to come together for a plan that you have to remember that a narcissist creates so much chaos and probably has said so much stuff smeared you to this new source of supply that is nothing but havoc and chaos and so you're thinking like why is he attacking me or why is she attacking me they have no idea who I am they don't know my story they don't know why we broke up all you're going by is a one-sided story you see and so a lot of you are being attacked by these new sources of supply because they have become the narcissist flying monkey and so this narcissist flying monkey he's got them fighting on their behalf and so they're making it even worse or they've already said a lot you know i remember this one la <laughs> this one lady she was uh she was streets and um the new source of supply was kind of nerdy and the 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 narcissist um you know really pump the new supply up to kind of go after this old source supply and everyone was telling the new source supply that i don't think you i don't think you want to try that you know that one right there that one to kill you you know that one to cut you that one is still street you know but she was more respectful like you know you do you boo boo that's your man now i don't have anything to do with that i'm not getting involved with that and this this new source of supply kept pushing her kept pushing her and i mean and she got the beat down of the century and from that point forward the, the old source of supply didn't have a problem with the new source of supply and i think the new source of supply began to realize like i made a mistake i've been off more than i can chew you know i thought i was fishing for a guppy and messed around and got bit by jaws you know and so these new sources of supply don't know who you are they don't know anything about you stay quiet you don't have to compete with them they're competing with you they're competing with an individual that they have never met have never talked to don't know your personality don't know anything about you and so they're walking in your shadow trying to re and the narcissist is recreating your family in this new family and that'll never work because they're totally different individuals totally different lifestyles but they're recreating this pseudo you know family based off of a foundation that they had with you and so believe you me and some of you know that this new source of supply is not as happy as they appear on camera now one thing that that narcissist knows is for some of you you know and in their mind even when you haven't done it anymore or you're not doing it anymore one thing that they know is that you're monitoring their social media so you can see what they're doing how they're doing it they're making sure that you get pieces and parts of information from their family so they can prove to you how happy they are without you well remember in another video i said if you are so happy if your life is so great why must you try so hard to show you know the other person that you are so happy because if you are that happy you're not concerned about whether the other person knows that you're so happy and that your life is so wonderful because they're miserable they're angry that you're moving on you have offended them by growing up you have offended them by moving on you have offended them by actually living your life 
And that poor new source of supply. Now, some of you guys, ah, that new source of supply ain't poor. She, he knew what they were doing when they were doing it. Oh, so did you. There we go. So did, so did you. You know, but at the same time, that new source of supply is completely confused, bamboozled, you know, manipulated, playing the game with this narcissist, all because they want to win the favor of the narcissist. All because they want to be loved by the narcissist and whatever they have to do to win favor or win love from the narcissist, they're willing to go all out and do it. And that means sometimes putting themselves in a compromising position and doing things out of character and chasing the old supply when the old supply is not even chasing them. And you have no idea who the old source of supply is, just like the other lady, you know, that gave the beat down to the beat down. And it wasn't that she was pursuing her. She didn't want to fight. She she says, I don't have anything against this woman. You know, whatever she do, she do. But why are you harassing me? Because of the fact that if I have to defend myself, I'm going to defend myself. I don't even know you. I've never talked to you. Why are you harassing me? And then why would you show up to confront me? And and that was it. That's all she wrote, you know. And so, you know, you guys have to remember that what you see on social media, the pictures that you get, these smiles they have on their face, these wonderful vacations that they're taking, it's all a pseudo. It's not, it's, it's pseudo. It's not real. It is just to show you I won. Well, if you got to prove that you won, then obviously you didn't win. And for you, I'm not even playing the game. You got to think about it. I'm not even in the game. How are we playing football together and I'm over here on the basketball court? Think about that. So I just want to bring that to you guys to give you guys a little insight on this pseudo relationship, this fake relationship that they have created. And you guys are so heartbroken. You got to think they don't change. They get worse. So when they change, yeah, they get worse. But if they left you one way, what, what makes you think if you leave a certain place a certain way and your character, your personality, your thought process hasn't changed, you're going right back into another situation the exact same way. And the way that they go into a, a relationship and the way that whether it's a woman or a man, and got that woman or man is the same way you have to prepare to lose that person. Nine times out of ten, narcs well, not nine times out of ten, narcissists always have other sources of supply. And so, especially when you're dealing with the somatic narcissist. And so eventually they grow bored very, very easily. They're like little kids. They have a short attention span. And so once they get what they want and they've locked you down, you're not exciting anymore. You know, you take the hunt away from a lion. They're not excited anymore. They look pitiful. And so to a narcissist, the hunt is always, you know, the, the excitement is always in the hunt. I have to hunt supply that, you know, most people may not be able to get. That's the excitement in the hunt. They got you, you know, so they got the new, the, the new source supply. They got them. So nine times out of 10, they're feeling the wrath of this narcissist and they feel the disconnect. They feel they've been ghosted. They've been discarded. Uh, what well, discarded, they have been uh, devalued. They have been ghosted. You know, they have been given the, 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 you know, whatever the trauma bonding, they're going through it. Trust you me, they're going through it. And they're doing whatever they can to try to make this narcissist love them. And it's not possible. So for those of you that are old supply, stop concerning yourself. They look so happy. Mm, they look happy with you and you were miserable and you took pictures and you know you were miserable while you were doing it. So hopefully this has helped somebody. Thank you so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Please go to Dr. Carmen Bryant, Overcoming Narcissist Abuse. Hit the uh, like and hit the, uh, well, hit the subscribe and hit the uh, bell so you know whenever I upload new videos. I come on live usually on Sundays between 8 and 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, which is West Coast time. Um, for those of you, sometimes I can't because I'm, I do have other obligations on that day. I also have a Facebook page, which is Psychological Health Consultants and Services. That's my professional Facebook page. And then I have my Facebook page for my book which is overcoming narcissist abuse hit the thumbs up um, and please go to amazon or barnes and noble order my book is unmasking the illusion of perfection real stories about real people that have been through narcissist abuse we can talk about it but there are examples of what it looks like when they were going through it and why people thought they were crazy it is a Christian book, however, um, and, and it gives Christian encouragement. So those of you that are not believers, that are not Christian, take the principles out of it. A lot of you said that you don't believe in God or believe in, you know, you have your own belief system, but you got the principles and you found yourself in that book. And so I really appreciate you guys investing. Give it to your teenagers. Some of your teenagers are already going through it and don't know what they're going through. So we have to get them educated ahead of time. Um, also, uh, if you look at the link on the bottom of YouTube, there's betterhelp.com backslash Dr. Carmen. For those of you that are looking for a counselor,
a licensed counselor um, that does FaceTime, um, they do Skype, they do um, telephonic counseling, they're licensed counselors that if you having a hard time looking for someone or finding someone in your area, you can connect. I think the first free, free of the whole, the whole, the first week is free. There we go. The first week is free. And then also if you're going through like a divorce, you, you're having problems, financial problems, you let them know they give you a discounted price. Um, also, for those of you on the West Coast, uh, the East Coast, the East Coast, um, at this particular time, um, I will be um, in North Carolina on November 16th. Let me look, let me make sure. Um, so right now I'm scheduled to be in North Carolina on November 16th. I will be with the Miss Beautiful, the beautiful Miss Tierra Carpenter of Project Identity. Go look it up on um, Google, uh, Project Identity Incorporated. And I will be with her, so far we have scheduled it where I will be in North Carolina with Miss Tierra Carpenter of uh, Project Identity. Go check out her face, I mean her, um, her um, webpage. Um, she will be sending me more information to provide to you guys so you can go to Eventbrite and buy you a ticket. It is limited seating. So those of you, uh, well, there is a, a limitation to the seating. So those of you that would like to come, um, you know, uh, I will let you know when she posts the ticket information and the location on Eventbrite and I will put it um, on a link. And she's giving me permission to let you guys know. So November 16th of this year, 2019, I will be in North Carolina with Ms. Tierra Carpenter, the CEO and founder of Project Identity. So those of you that would like to come out and support her and come out and uh, meet me, that would be awesome. I get to meet you guys. And so I will give you more information as she sends me more information as she did allow me to provide you with that information so that you guys can go support her. Go check it out. It's www.projectidentityinc.com, I think. Hold on, let me make sure. So it is www.projectidentityinc.org and you guys go check out her um, her webpage uh, and I will provide you with more information as she provides it to me when she sets up the tickets on um, Eventbrite. It is a paid event um, and I will be joining her in North Carolina November 16th. So hopefully you guys come out there so I can meet some of you guys and I think that will be an exciting time. You guys make sure you support her. She is doing an awesome thing. Go read the vision and go read what she does. It's really an awesome thing that she's doing. And once again, thank you guys so much. Make sure you check out my mentors YouTube channel. It is Helen Sadler Destiny Helper and she provides you with narcissist abuse um, information and education based from a biblical perspective, a spiritual perspective uh, and provides you with encouragement. Thank you guys so much for supporting her and supporting me and once again you guys go and be great.